Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, this has been a little bit of a request. In one of my previous videos, you guys would have seen I was using this while out doing some portable ops. And I've had a few questions and I've had some messages actually asking me, could I show this tuner in a little bit more detail? So um, I'm going to do that now. I'm going to show you around this particular tuner and we'll do a little bit of a demonstration a little later on. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. The LDG Z817 has been designed specifically to be integrated with the FT817 from Yesu. It states that you can use up to 20 watts with this particular tuner. It does work with other radios and the tuning cycle is a little bit different on other radios, but we'll cover that a little later. So first up is the unit. It can't be simpler. On the front, we have the tune button, we have SWR and we have the tuning light. So when it's tuning, obviously the red light comes on. When it's tuned and found a good match, the SWR light will turn green and you're good to go. So on the back we have the usual antenna and transmitter connections. We have two mini DIN sockets. So one goes to the computer so you can control this via your computer and the second one goes to your radio via a cat cable. And if you so wish you can attach a ground to the back. So I've removed the screws from underneath to show you. So the top just simply pops off and it's run via four AA batteries inside. So it really is a great little tuner for taking out on some hilltop activations. One other thing to point out is the tuner only works on HF and 6 meters. It will not tune on 2 meters and 70 centimeters. So it's worth bearing in mind. Connecting up the tuner to your 817 could not be simpler. First we take your antenna and we plug the antenna into the antenna socket like so. We then take our patch lead and we plug that into the transmitter socket and then we plug the other end into the antenna socket on the back of your radio and lastly we take the 8 pin mini DIN connector and we plug it into one end goes into the radio socket and the other end goes into the ACC port on the back of the 817. Not into data, into the ACC port, which is the one closest to the antenna socket. So we plug that in, like so. And now we are good to go. Before we can start using the tuner, we've got to quickly dive into the menu. So you do so by pressing and holding the function button and then scroll up to the item number 14. As you'll see from the screen on my Yesu, you want to go to cat rate and you want to set this to 38400, 38400. And then just come back out of the menu and you're good to go. The tuner has two different cycles that you can perform. Uh, the first one is a full manual cycle. So to do a full cycle, you simply just go to your desired frequency, press and hold the tune button for momentarily. The red light then will flash to say it's tuning. And when it has found a match, the SWR green light will come on. 
Now, before we do this for a demonstration, you're going to notice at the moment we are on upper sideband. When we do the tuning, the tuner itself switches the radio to packet data and it also lowers the power of the 817 to minimal power to perform the tuning operation. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that now. So a full cycle is quite easy to do. There's only one button on the tuner. So you go to your desired frequency and you press and hold the tune button. Release. And as you will have seen, it switched to packet mode to perform the tuning. And now we should have a full match on this frequency. It also has a memory cycle. So basically what that means is, if we, for example, are on this particular frequency and we decide to go elsewhere on the band and we decide to come back to this frequency later on, the tuner will remember the match that it got on this frequency before. So it should remember and it should be good to go again without performing a full manual tune cycle. This can also be used on other radios and the tuning is a little bit different. So non-817 radios, you need to select the frequency you want to tune in on. You want to switch the mode to AM or carrier wave. Then you take your microphone and you key up the microphone. And then while your microphone is keyed, you press and hold tune. When the red LED comes on, you want to unkey the radio and then return to the said mode that you want to operate on. And you should have a good match on that frequency. So that's worth bearing in mind if you plan on using this with another radio. But just bear in mind, this really is only a QRP tuner. It will only operate up to on up to 20 watts. So you can't push any more through than that. But perfect for these small QRP rigs. So there we have it. I hope this video was of some help and it has answered some questions for you on operating and just this tuner in general. So if this video was of any use to you or any help, please do consider dropping a like below because it really does help the channel. And also if you are new to this channel and you've never come across this before and you've just stumbled upon this video, please do have a look around. And um, if you like what you see, you know, do consider hitting that subscribe button because I do appreciate every single subscription. So I'm gonna end the video there. Thank you all for watching. And until the next video, I'm gonna wish you all the best 7-3. Stay safe and take care. All the very best. Goodbye for now.